What's up guys, it's your boy Brett, AKA Craft Pass Midnight, out here in the beautiful Glendale, Queens. About to check out Finback Brewery. I've had a lot of their beers, you've probably seen them on my Instagram, but it's my first time here, so really excited. Let's go on in. So here we have the Fat Peach IPA, which is a collaboration with Interboro Spirits and Ales out of Brooklyn. Awesome, super excited for this one. Look at that color, I mean, man. If that's not juicy, I don't know what is. You have a bunch of mango and uh, a little bit of coconut and peach smells on the nose. Really, really delightful. Yeah, that smells delicious. Really interesting, oh man. It's almost milkshake-y as far as the mouthfeel goes. Definitely getting those notes of peach. A little bit of that rice that they use, the sticky rice. Uh, definitely comes in a little bit. Oh, that's really, really great. I mean, this is super juicy. Again, I, I don't know if they use lactose in here or not, but this is almost, I would equate this to like a peach uh, milkshake IPA, how, how the mouthfeel is. And a lot more of those coconut uh, notes as well. Great beer, really great beer all around. Hopefully they have uh, some of these in the can left too because I'm definitely going to walk out with a few if they do. Three, two, one. So I went with their Saison, which is called Lounge. As you can see, it's got a beautiful amount of head and an interestingly hazy color for a Saison. That funky, earthy smell uh, on the nose there, typical of the Saison farmhouse style, which, as you already know, that's my favorite type of beer. Oh, that's a great uh, funky smell there. Really interesting mouthfeel and, and wow, a lot of different flavors coming through, a little bit of spice, uh, nice bit of carbonation. This is really, uh, really enjoyable. I like this a lot. You feel the, the, the bubbles on your tongue as it goes down to really nice, really great beer, super drinkable and smooth. Even the small hits, like there's some mint in there I feel like, a little bit of a grapefruit too. M minor amounts, but you can taste them on the third or fourth sip and that you really you can appreciate a deeper uh, uh, taste palette than just that first hit of that funky farmhouse, which of course I love, but those subtle other flavors really make this uh, an awesome beer. All right, so we just left Finback Brewery. As you can see, I've got a bunch of goodies, including my next giveaway. Stay tuned to find out what that is. And uh, thanks again to the Finback fam. They were great. Can't wait to come back here in the near future.